In a crucial meet, Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman had discussions with Chief Ministers and State Finance Ministers today. The meet centered around increasing investments as well as pushing reforms. The meet assumes importance as it's one of the only times other than GST Council meets that the center interacts with the states at such a high level. This uh, meeting was essentially to seek states and their uh, ideas on how they want this to be uh, taken further because in most of the issues related to investment, development and also for manufacturing and taking business activities, it is the states who are doing it from the forefront. Some of the northeast states came up with specific uh, suggestions of immediate job creation for their states and uh, uh, state specific international uh, trade policies for the northeast. Um, the need for a policy for offshore wind energy generation was highlighted by some states. At least a few of them kept saying that the capital expenditure money that was given to them, almost like a grant, uh, but for, for the 50 years which they can uh, use interest-free and for them to return 50 years later, uh, has been well received. Many of the states very openly said that they would want the scheme to be continued. I have asked Finance Secretary to release another 47,541 crore so a total of 95,082 crores will be given to the states on November 22nd. There are growing concerns that interest rates could start rising soon. RBI rates are at their lowest since the liquidity adjustment facility was introduced in June 2000. However, the double barrel hit of high prices and low factory output is causing concern. The wholesale price index has shot up to a five-month high of 12.54% in October. The figure was 10.66% in September and a benign 1.31% last October. The spike is due to substantial increases in prices of mineral oils, basic metals, food products, crude and natural gas and chemicals. The consumer price index announced Friday was up marginally to 4.48%, lower than the RBI's target of 5.3%. However, factory output growth reflected in IIP figures fell to a seven-month low in September at 3.1%. The Modi government has pressed the pedal to the metal on cryptomania two days after the Prime Minister chaired a high-level meeting on how to tackle the digital revolution. A parliamentary panel met this evening to gather views from stakeholders and crypto exchanges. There is talk that a bill to regulate cryptos may be tabled in parliament as early as the winter session. Three days, two high-powered meetings. The first chaired by the Prime Minister himself. The second comprising MPs from across the political spectrum, stakeholders and experts. For the Modi government, cryptocurrencies are suddenly a top priority. Given the exponential growth, the investments have seen in this unregulated asset. With some estimates claiming 10 crore Indian investors with a whopping 8,000 crore rupees invested in the volatile cryptocurrencies. With no law currently governing the sector, calls for a legal framework are getting louder. The demand this evening in the parliamentary panel meet was clear. Ensure the security of investors' money. MPs also flagged the full-page ads by crypto players in dailies, saying they attracted gullible investors who could fall prey to cryptos as they did to Ponzi schemes. There is, however, an understanding that crypto technology cannot be stopped. But there is still no consensus on who will govern and regulate the sector. The biggest issue, treating cryptos as a currency, alternate to the rupee, is simply not acceptable to the government. The volatility and the huge risk are also non-starters. Thirdly, the use of cryptos as a money laundering and terror financing tool also poses a clear and present threat to authorities. This besides the fact that major public use cases is yet to be firmed up. The two regulators which currently oversee the financial sector have made clear their discomfort in dealing with cryptos. While the RBI has called the cryptos a serious concern for macroeconomic and financial stability, 
SEBI has said that cryptos cannot be used as a commodity and has even banned financial advisors from recommending them. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister's high-level meeting on Saturday clearly showed that the government has not closed its door to cryptos and is considering a law to regulate it. However, the issue is not just financial but has security connotations, with the Home Ministry being an active part of the discussions. The panel also looked at the need to ensure investor protection laws, for which the government is already in talks with market players and domain experts. There is also consensus that the technology is evolving too fast and that the policies could not be formed in isolation without international inputs. There is also expectation that a bill governing cryptos may be tabled in Parliament during the winter session with a proposal to treat them as an asset class. However, the situation remains challenging for the government as well as the market players. Bureau Report, Business Today Television.